and needs himself. So this concept of avatar, Almighty God, become a human being, which most commonly is understood by the Hindus, is no way to be found anywhere in the Vedas. The avatar is not mentioned anywhere in the Vedas, which are the most sacred of all the Hindu scriptures. And the Hindu scholars, they say, many of the Hindu scholars, who are pure Vedantists, who purely believe in the Vedas, they say that the Sanskrit word avatar is a possession of Almighty God. It is possessive. It cannot refer to Almighty God himself. It can refer to Almighty God sending a man. So these scholars, they say that we have no objection to Almighty God sending a man in this world. And if you read the Vedas, there are mention of several rishis who Almighty God has sent in this world to guide the human beings. Let's discuss the concept of messengers in Islam. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 24, there is not a nation or a tribe without a warner having lived among them in the past. Allah says in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 7, common hard, and to every nation have we sent a warner. There are several messengers sent on the face of the earth. But the last and final messenger was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And it's mentioned in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 40. مَا كَانَ مُحَمَّدٌ أَبَا أَهْدٍ مِّنْ رِجَالِكُمْ وَلَاخِ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَخَاتَمُ النَّبِينَ وَقَانَ اللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْنِ عَلِيمًا Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the father of any of you men, but he is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the seal of the prophets. And Allah is all-knowing, full of knowledge. Since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger, Unlike the previous messengers who were sent only for their people and the message was meant to be followed in totality only for a particular time period. Since Prophet Muhammad was the last and final messenger, he was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ That we have sent thee not but as a mercy to all the worlds as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity. Allah repeats the message in Surah Sabah, chapter number 34, verse number 28. وَمَا illa kafatan lil nas bashira wa nazira That we have sent thee not but as a universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sin. But most of the human beings yet do not know. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Salah, chapter number 56, hadith number 429, the Prophet said that all the previous messengers that came before me, they were sent only for their people, for their nation. But I have been sent as the last and final messenger to the whole of humanity. In Islam, we don't agree that Almighty God has to come in this world and become a human being. This philosophy of Almighty God becoming a human being is called as anthropomorphism, which many religions believe in this philosophy that Almighty God became a human being, and they have a logic for that. What they say that Almighty God is so holy, He is so pure, He does not know the shortcomings of the human being. How does the human being feel when he is hurt? How does the human being feel when he is in trouble? How does the human being feel when he has got problems? So that's the reason Almighty became a human being so that he could set the rules, the do's and don'ts for the human beings. On the face of it, it sounds like good logic. Almighty God, so holy, so pure, he does not know the shortcomings of the human beings. Therefore, to set the rules, he became a human being. I'm asking a simple question. Let's suppose I manufacture a VCR, a video cassette recorder. Do I have to become a VCR, a video cassette recorder, to know what is good or what is bad for the VCR? If I manufacture a VCR, since I'm the manufacturer, since I'm the creator, I don't have to become a VCR to know what is good or what is bad for the VCR. What do I do? I write an instruction manual that if you want to play the video cassette, insert the cassette and press the play button. If you want to stop, you press the stop button. If you want to fast forward, press the FF button. Don't drop it from a height, it will get spoiled. Don't demerse it in water, it will get damaged. 
I write an instruction manual. I don't have to become a VCR to know what is good or what is bad for the VCR if I've created the VCR. Similarly, Almighty God, since He's the creator of the human beings, He doesn't have to become a human being to know what is good or what is bad for the human being. What does He do? He chooses a man amongst men and communicates with them on a higher level who we call as messengers. And He reveals this instruction manual to guide the humankind. And the last and final instruction manual of Almighty God, it is the glorious Quran. The do's and don'ts for the human being is mentioned in the last and final instruction manual of the human beings, that is the glorious Quran. So the Islamic concept perfectly matches with the concept of the Vedas. It may not match with the common Hindus who believe that Almighty God becomes a human being, but nowhere does the Veda have the concept that Almighty God has become a human being. It has a concept that Almighty God has sent rishis, has sent people who were close to Almighty God so that they could guide the humankind. And there are mentions of several rishis and messengers in the Vedas. Let us discuss what do the Hindu scriptures have to speak about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's mentioned in the Bhavishya Purana, Parvatri. Khan 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 10 to 27, it says that the Malichas have spoiled the land of the Arabs. Arya Dharm is not to be found there. There was an enemy who I defeated earlier, but now he has been sent by a more powerful enemy. I will send a man by the name of Muhammad, peace be upon him, who will destroy these enemies and will guide the people to the true path. O oh, Raja Bhoj, you need not go to the land of the Pishachas, for I, through my kindness, will purify you here itself. A man in the angelic disposition, he appears in front of Raja and says, O oh, Raja, I have been sent by Ishwar Paramatma. Arya Dharma will prevail. The religion of Dinul al Haq will prevail in the world. I have been sent by Ishwar Paramatma to enforce a creed of meat eaters. My follower shall be a person who is circumcised, who does not have a shandy on his head, who has created a revolution, who keeps a beard, who gives the call for prayer, who eats all lawful things but will not have the flesh of swine. He will not be purified by herbs and shrubs, but will be purified by warfare. He will be called a Musalman. He will be a meat eater. Now this prophecy about a Rishi to come, the name of the Rishi is mentioned as Muhammad. Peace be upon him. And it says that he will guide the people on the straight path. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam guided the Arabs. It was known as Yom al Jahiliya, the days of ignorance. He guided them to light. And see that his follower will be a person who circumcised, and the Muslims are circumcised. He will not have a shindi, will not have a tail on the head, and the Muslims don't have. Who will grow a beard? The Muslims grow a beard. Will create a revolution. Will give the call for prayer. That is the adhan, and we Muslims, we give the adhan. That is the call for prayers. They will eat all lawful things, but will not touch the flesh of swine, and we Muslims, we don't eat pork. They will not be purified by herbs and shrubs, but will be purified by warfare. And we have been told in the Quran that we have to fight for the truth against Aryan oppression. They will be called Musalman. They will be meat eaters. This prophecy in Bhavishya Purana clearly specifies about the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his followers as Muslims have been described. He has been prophesied in several places. Time will not permit. I'll just give a reference to a few of the Bhavishya Purana. He is also prophesied in Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 5 to 8. He is even prophesied in Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 1, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 21 to 23. The last and final messenger has also been prophesied in the Atharva Ved, in book number 20, hymn number 127, mantra number 1 to 14. These are called as Kuntup Suktas. Kuntup in Sanskrit means a hidden gland in the abdomen. Indicating that the meaning of these verses, the hidden, they'll be known later. 